Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> I guess my pattern nowadays is three times a week. I'm going to put out video Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But today, you know, I have a few projects that I have in mind, but I'm kind of too lazy. <laughs> for, yeah, too lazy to start the day. Yeah, plus I have a little incident going on with DoorDash, which we're not going to talk about. But, but today I'm going to say we use something that I have, uh, one of the equipment. I bet you know, a lot of you don't know that I'm, I love to hike a lot. And you know, when I hike, I always have my walking stick with me. And you know, one of the things that I use this walking stick, I always have this in my minivan, in my basement over there. And also, if uh, you haven't seen what I use this for, is I use this for one of my side, uh, and the pole for the side tent, side awning. And I will put a link up here for that video if you're interested to see. I actually have awning on the side and then in the back. But anyway, I was using this in uh, the meetup in Oregon back in, uh, what was it, June? So uh, back then it was raining a little bit. Of course, you know, when I was using it, this is always upside down, right? This is a normal way up. So this is upside down. Of course, this will go on top into the grommet of the, the tarp to make it into a cover. So when it rained, see this, normally you would twist and you would spang it like this. So guess what? The water get in here. And then uh, I think about a week or two ago, I tried to open it. It won't come out. You know, like what the heck going on? You know what what happened? Why why it not won't come out? So you know, I didn't know. I, I bet a lot of you probably don't know that these are not maintenance free. I will show you why. All right. Here you go. If you pull it. All the way out, see how this, there's an O-ring here, there's an actual nut inside here. As you turn, it will, I'm not sure if you can see well in here, see that? Right now I lubricate it so it won't have that issue anymore, and looks, let me open this up. It's actually split into half, like this. See how it is? See, there's a little bit of rusting going on in here. Even though it has some oil, it still feels, but at least now it know it won't stop. Plus there was water stuck inside here, so it'll become a vacuum in here. So uh, it's not maintenance free. You need to kind of sometime open it up and put some uh, oil in here, in the make it easy. But don't put oil in the plastic part here. Just here. And then it will slide right back in. Like this. So now, as you go in, it will expand out. You know, see how it become out? And now you can in. And there you go, that's, that's the tip for the day. If you have a walking stick, you need to maintain it. Don't just use it and, and ignore it. Cause it will get rusted inside here. See, now it's so smooth going in and out. And, you know, it's easy to turn. Yeah, see. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So this is right, it's tight. Left, left, loose. Yeah, this is, uh, I use this. Walking stick is two function. There's a walking stick. Oh, by the way, you know why I like to walk when I hike and bring the stick? Cause a lot of time when you walk on the trail, there's some, there might be some snake on the trail. So as you walk, your stick always be in front of you. And if there's a snake in front of you, it will strike the stick first, not you. So one of the safety precautions you probably. And plus with this, you have much more balance as you walk. 
through different terrain, uneven, so you can hide longer. Or you can use the stick to beat whatever if there's a bear attack you, unless you have something to poke, to keep it away from you, far away from you before it attack you, you know. And I, I pray that I will never get attacked by the bear, but at least it's better than having nothing on my hand. Or some coyote or whatever on, on the trail. At least you can use the hiking uh, stick to defend yourself. But anyway, I'm, uh, as I was uh, camping about a few weeks ago up in Lake Isabel, I noticed at nighttime I have issue with the bug. When you turn on the light inside, bug would try to go in. So I bought a bug screen that designed for the uh, for the house main door, but I'm gonna adapt it to make it fit in here. So I'll be waiting for that. Probably by Wednesday I'll have a video on that how I install it. All right, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.